Hello students, today I am discussing biological classification, class 11, chapter number 2, NCRT exercise solution part 1, which is really very very helpful for your NEET AIMS exam. Welcome back once again in your biology class. This is Nausin and you are watching your most favorite channel, educational support. So my dear students, are you ready? So let's get started. Question number 1 is... Discuss how classification systems have undergone several changes over a period of time. You know that Aristotle was the first to classify organisms which is based on morphological characters to differentiate plants and animals. He also classified plants into trees, shrubs, and herbs and animals based on the presence or absence of red color blood. Later, Linnaeus was proposed two kingdoms. Number one plant kingdom and number two animal kingdom. So this system does not distinguish between eukaryotes, prokaryotes, unicellular and multicellular organisms and also for poor synthetic and photosynthetic and non-photosynthetic organisms. So plants and animals could easily be classified under this system but a large number of organisms did not fall under either category. So a need was failed to include more number of characteristics such as mode of reproduction, evolutionary relationship, etc. to facilitate better categorism. So thus, Whittaker, R. H. Whittaker produced a five kingdom classification and the five kingdoms of the five kingdom classification systems are Monera, Protesta, Fungi, Plantae and Animalia. You know very well. So the main criteria for the classification of organisms in the five kingdom classification includes cell structure, body organization, mode of nutrition, reproduction and phylogenetic relationship. Question number two is state to economically important uses of heterotropic bacteria and archaebacteria. You know that heterotropic bacteria are used in the manufacture of industry products such as an preparation of antibiotics, vitamins, production of curd, cheese, etc. So they are mainly used in agriculture in the formation of manure and nitrogen fixation by rhizobium. But archaebacteria are used in biogas production. They are used in bioleaching of mines. Question number three is what is the nature of cell wars in diatoms? Diatoms leave large amounts of cell wall depositors in the habitat to accumulate to form the diatomaceous earth. Actually in diatoms cell walls are embedded with silica which is importing characteristics patterns onto the walls and are indestructible. Question number four is find out what do the terms algal bloom and red tide signify. You know that algal blooms which are found mainly in contaminated water. So they are an overgrowth of algae, especially blue-green algae. What are these? Yes, this is sand bacteria. So their growth leads to water pollution and they inhale carbon dioxide and exhale oxygen. But red tides, you know that red tides are rapid multiplication of red pigmented dinoflagellates such as gunulax. So which gives the sea a red color. And this phenomenon was known as a red tides. So this algae produces toxins which kill the fish and other aquatic organisms. Question number 5 is how are virions different from viruses? This is very very important question for your exams. Virions you know that are very small infectious agents with single standard RNA without protein coat. But viruses have single standard or double standard DRNA bound with protein coat. Virions are very smaller in size compared to viruses. And virus infects only plants while viruses infect plants, animals, microorganisms. So these three are basic difference between virions and viruses. Question number six is describe briefly the four major groups of protozoa. protozoa. So the four major groups of protozoa are as given below. Number 1 is amoeboid, number 2 is flagellated, number 3 is ciliated and number 4 last one is sporozoans. So 
First one, amoebaid protozoans. They are mainly found in fresh water. You know that. So sea water or moist soil. They move and capture the prey with the help of pseudopodia, for example, amoeba. Flagellated protozoans. They have flagella for movement. They are either free living or parasitic. The parasitic forms causes disease such as sleeping sickness, for example, trypanosoma. Ciliated protozoans, they have thousands of cilia present all over the body. The cilia help in locomotion and steering of foods into the gullet. For example, paramosium. And the last one is sporozoans. So many protozoans have an infectious spores like stage in their life cycle. So the spore like phage help actually help them get transferred from one host to another host. For example, is plasmodiums. So these are the four major groups of protozoa. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and click on the bell and turn on the notification. So tata, bye bye. See you in the next video.